Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to easily send an email from the SAP system in ABAP. Without the variable declaration and the try and catch block, we will need about 20 lines of code. I have already created a program for this and I divided this program in different parts. First, we start with the declaration of the variables. Then we create the document, the email. Then we create the send request. Then we define a SAP user as sender and we set a recipient. At the end, we send the document, the email. So let's start with the declaration of the variables. First, we declare the sender, LOE sender of type uh, uname. Then we need a recipient email. This variable is of type AD. SMTP ADR. Next, we need the subject. This is of type string. And last, the message. LOE message. Type string. Next, we set these variables. First, we set the sender with dev user. This is a, a development user in my test system here. Then the recipient email address. I pick here um, recipient at sap.com. Next is the subject. I write here, this is a test. And last, the message. I write here, this is my test email. Okay. Now we have uh, declared our necessary variables. Next, we have to convert our message text into an internal table. This text is divided into parts, into lines of type solely, and we need this internal table later in some calls. So I make an inline declaration here. I write IT body text is CL document BCS. And I call the method string to soli. And for the parameter IP string, I write the variable of my message, LV message. So with this uh, statement, my message is divided and appended to this internal table. Next, we create the document, the email. So I write here, O document, we create a document object. And this is CL document BCS. Create document. And we have here three parameters 
first the type we write here raw because we want send text emails first the second parameter is the text and here we type the internal table we declared before so i write here it body text and last is the subject i write here conf we convert here the subject s o o b j des and the variable of my subject l v subject okay next we create a send request so we uh, declare the object o send request and this is cl bcs create persistent Then we have to uh, append some uh, things, the subject and the document. So I write o send request set message subject and we set here the subject. So I write IP subject. This is my parameter and I type here my variable LV subject. And next we append the document here. So we write O send request set document. And we write here the object of our document O document. Okay, next we create a sender object and we declare here our sender. So we write O sender is CL subuser BCS and we call the method create. And we type here the variable where our subuser is stored, LV sender. And then we set the sender. O send request, set sender with our sender object, O sender. Next, the recipient. We create a recipient object with data O recipient is CL cam address BCS. And we call here the method create internet address with our recipient email, which is stored in our variable LV recipient email. In the next step, we add the recipient to our send request. 
For this, we write o send request at recipient. And we put here our recipient object. I recipient is O recipient. And we set the parameter I express to above true. Next, we set another method to send the email immediately. So we write o send request set send immediately. And we set this to ABAP true. Last, we sent the document. We sent the email. So we write O send request. And we call the method send with the parameter I with error screen is up, up true. Last but not least, a commit work. Okay, so because we are here in a program, I want to know uh, when an email has been sent. And for this, uh, we check the so super C. So I write if so super C is zero, I write email has been sent. And if. Okay. The other errors are catched here. Now let's press the pretty print button and activate. Okay, there are a problem. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, it's a typo address. We miss a D here. Let's check again. Okay. Okay, another typo. We miss here a D. Okay, let's check again. Looks good. Then let's uh, run the code. Okay, we have the message email has been sent. So let's open the transaction SOST. With this transaction, we see the send requests on this system and we see here our email. There are some uh, information. Here we have an internal routing error. This is because uh, this is a SAP test system and there is no SMTP node maintained. But we have uh, some information, the name of uh, our sender, the recipient email address, some date and time information, the subject, and we can see the message body. For this, we check the line and we click on the display document. And here we see our message body. So let's go back. Let's close this window. This was a text email. And if we want to send an HTML email, we have only to check uh, to uh, change this parameter 
to HTM and we try some HTML code in our message. I want to write the string this bold and I want to display my string test email italic. Okay, let's activate the code and run. Okay, the email has been sent. Then let's open the transaction SOST again. And we see here the second, the last email is our HTML email. Let's have a look to the body. Yes, we see the HTML code is used. Yes. So, uh, I hope the video was okay. If you like my videos, I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Feel free to watch other videos from it. Leave some comments if you want. I like it to read them. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.